I got two soldering irons from ATE Tool, the soldering pin AE560W and a multi-function soldering station. I have already reviewed and tested the AE560W soldering iron while using different types of soldering tips and I used the Endstar digital microscope for recording the soldering so that you guys could clearly see the finishing results. I have added a link in the description if you want to check the AE560W soldering iron. Anyway, in today's episode, I'm going to review and test the ATE Tool multi-function soldering station. This soldering station has got multiple functions like temperature setting, temperature locking function, temperature unit conversion, standby and sleep mode, and the temperature calibration. I will go through all these functions and I will explain in detail how to use these different functions. I will be using the same soldering iron tips and I will also use my End and Start Digital Microscope for recording the soldering. By the way, you can also watch my video on End and Start Digital Microscope. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Inside this box, you will find the ADE Tool AE689A soldering station user manual. And in this user manual, you will find every bit of information, including the packing list, product specification, safety and precautions, using method, and information about the 900M T series soldering tips. I personally don't have all these soldering tips, but I have got some of the most commonly used soldering tips which I'm going to use with the soldering station. Anyway, I highly recommend you guys should go through this user manual before you power up this soldering station. You can also visit the ATE Tool official website if you want to know more about the AE689A soldering station. We have also got this white box and I guess inside this box is the tin wire frame and sponge. Actually, I read this in the user manual. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this box. Let's go ahead and assemble these parts. This is how the tin wireframe look after assembling all the parts. Finally, here comes the main unit and the soldering iron. Now this is the ATE Tool 60W AE689A sorting station. The input voltage is 220 to 240 volt AC. ATE Tool has also 110 volt AC version of the same sorting station. So make sure you order the correct sorting station. Its model number is AE689A. This is the power button LED segment display. There is also an indicator light, temperature adjustment knob, temperature unit switch, soldering handle, soldering stand, and the soldering tip slots. It has this 900M T series tip which is switchable. Simply unscrew the nut. Remove the casing. This is a ceramic ATE2 PTC 2 core heating element. And now I will continue with the same soldering iron tip which is designed with an electroplating protective layer that can greatly prolong its service life. It's so slim and lightweight that you can hold it like a pin and it is suitable for all kinds of the soldering processes. Using this knob you can set different temperatures between 100 and 500 degrees Celsius with temperature stability up to plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and power up the soldering station. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer. 
as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. After turning on the power, LED segment lights up and displays triple it for one second. Then it displays the temperature unit C or Fahrenheit for one second. If the standby function is enabled, SLP will be displayed for another one second. As I'm using this soldering station for the first time, that's why SLP is not displayed. Anyway, then it displays the set temperature for 1.5 seconds and finally displays the actual temperature. Right now you can see the knob is at the lowest temperature value which is 100 degrees Celsius. So the set temperature and actual temperature are the same. I'm going to increase the temperature. When the temperature is stable the LED flashes. Did you notice when I changed the temperature, the set temperature was displayed for around 1 second and then for the next few seconds it displayed the rising temperature and when it reached the set temperature value it stopped there and the LED started to flash which means the temperature is stable. Let me demonstrate this one more time and this time play close attention. I am going to increase the temperature value. Next I am going to explain how to use temperature locking function. First I am going to set the desired temperature. Now long press the function key and when the LOC is displayed, release the function key to enter the temperature locking function setting. Use the knob to turn it on or off. And now I will continue with on. You can press the function key or wait for 10 seconds to automatically save the setting. This temperature locking function can be quite handy in situations when you are going to solder temperature sensitive components and you don't want the temperature to change even if you rotate the knob. Now to turn off the locking function repeat the same steps but this time select off and press the set button if you don't want to wait for 10 seconds. Now you can change the temperature. Next I am going to explain how to change the temperature unit. Press and hold the function key and then turn on the power at the same time. After the triple eight is displayed, release the function key to complete the temperature unit switching. Now you can see the temperature is in Fahrenheit. Now let's say I want to change this back to Celsius, I will repeat the same steps. Now the temperature is in Celsius. Now I'm going to explain how to use sleep function. Just long press the function key and when the SLP is displayed, release the switch and then use the knob to turn on or off the sleep function. I'm going to continue with on. Now you can press the function key to save the setting or wait for 10 seconds. In the standby or sleep mode, when the soldering station is not used for 10 minutes, it will automatically enter into standby or sleep mode. STB will be displayed or be back after 10 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back after 10 minutes. You can see. STB is written on the display and the soldering station temperature is dropped to 250 degrees Celsius. When any operation is detected such as using the handle, adjusting the knob or pressing the function key it will return to the normal heating mode. You can also do temperature calibration if you want the most accurate temperature for a specific soldering job. 
For the temperature calibration, long press the function key and when the CAL is displayed, release the button. In the user manual, it is explained step by step. Right now, I don't have a precise temperature monitor, so I can't calibrate this. And to be very frank, I don't need to calibrate this soldering station since I'll be using this for soldering random electronics components. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the soldering. First, I'm going to start with its default soldering tip and then I will test it with my other soldering iron tips. I'm going to turn on my Anistar digital microscope for recording the soldering. Now, I'm going to turn on my soldering station and I'm going to wait for a few seconds till the temperature gets stable. Now let's go ahead and start the soldering. Now let's try these other soldering iron tips one by one.
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.